All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get this party started. I got the uh, JVC RS1000 over here and the Sony 295, which are both booting up. As we speak, I'm going to get them aligned so that we can do some side-by-side -side comparisons. All right, guys, so I just opened up the Sony 295, which is here, and the JVC RS1000, which is over here to the right. Um, let me show you the settings that I have it on currently. So the Sony is on Cinema Film 1, which is a preset that comes from the manufacturer. And I have the JVC on HDR10, which is another pre-built setting from the manufacturer. On my first reaction, which I'm sure you guys can see, I'm filming this in 4K, 60 frames per second, the Sony is just more vivid and crisp, but I haven't really messed with the calibrations yet. The, the JVC looks a little more brighter, but almost washed out in comparison to the Sony side by side, but I'm gonna do a little calibration and, and play with it for a second. All right, guys, so I have my JVC RS1000 and the Sony 295 uh, set up in here, and I have uh, 4K, cables in place and I got a Blu-ray playing right now. The Tom Cruise Mission Impossible Fallout in HDR playing on two separate Blu-ray players outputting to these two projectors at the exact same time. And you can see this is, you know, a beautiful image playing from the Sony. And I'm gonna switch over to the JVC so that you guys can see a direct side-by-side -side comparison between the two. So this is Sony and this is the JVC. Now, I have done some calibrations on these projectors. Right out of the box, the Sony did perform better overall, just straight out of the box on the default settings. But I spent some time on the phone with my Sony reps as well as my JVC reps today really trying to fully understand the possibilities of these projectors and you know playing with the different calibration settings and I mean without a doubt both of these are excellent projectors but um, you know there there are some pros to the JVC that the Sony does not have so let me show you some of these settings that I was able to manipulate. In the menu of the JVC, they got a really cool lens memory feature that isn't available on the 295 at all that really doesn't have anything to do with the picture quality that you're seeing versus the 295, but I think it's important to point this out. The installation modes, you can come in and adjust your mode and save it dependent on if you're doing 16.9 or if you're doing Cinescope format and quickly make a trigger to toggle between those different formats dependent on the content that you're watching. Now, if you're just running a 16.9 screen, it's not a big deal, but until you get into the Sony 695, that's something that's just not available on the Sony 295 that is on the RS1000. Another thing that is pretty cool with this JVC projector is the gamma settings. You can actually come in and adjust your nits dependent on the content that you're watching manually as well as it has auto mapping built in. Now you can see I did play with my settings quite a bit to get it exactly how I'd like it. We're in the HDR format and I have turned my brightness down a little bit to really maximize the, the contrast because I felt like whenever I first turned on the Sony, it just had richer color. It was a darker picture, but it just appeared more rich 
in color. And I called my JV rep and I was like, why is that? You know, this should be outperforming the 295, you know, without a doubt. And after making some adjustments on my, my calibration, I think that it's definitely producing a better image overall. Let me go into some of my other settings here. Your mode. I have my lamp power at high and my aperture set to manual. You can leave it on auto as well. The aperture is just the lens adjustment. So we come into the aperture and adjust it down. You should see your contrast increase. Brightness of the, the bulb decrease you look gets darker and then and if that's actually literally letting more light into the picture and then if we go up it makes it brighter I have that at max I have my lamp power to high but I did turn down my brightness to really pull out the contrast to negative three and I found this is a really good picture for HDR content now I'm gonna just toggle back and forth between the the Sony and the JVC a couple more times for you guys. So this is the JVC and this is the Sony. Now on the Sony, I have the calibration set to Cinema Film 1 and there's different presets in here as well that come from Sony, but I think this is the best for HDR content uh, based on, you know, playing with it for the last hour. You got film, uh, Cinema Film 2, you have Reference, which I think looks a little bit dull. You have TV, you have Photo, looks really strange. Game, Bright Cinema. Bright TV and then user. So Bright Cinema and I'd say Film Cinema Film One were my my two favorites. Sony does have a feature called Reality Creation, which does help improve the uh, the realism of the picture. You got a contrast enhancer. It's set to middle. Lamp control, high. Whoop. See, I have my contrast for HDR set to 60, brightness at 50, color 50, hue 50, darkness at the 50. Color space is BT 2020 on both. True cinema and my motion flow. You guys can see I've been playing with this for about two hours now. The color format is YCBRC 4x4x4. It's playing HDR10. True 4K. So let's go, and that's the JVC. This is the Sony, and this is the JVC. Sony, and JVC. Fast forward to a couple other scenes so you guys can see some different colors. So this is the JVC. And this is the Sony. Let's 
Sony and GVC. You can see these projectors are pretty similar in performance. I would say, you know, if I had to, to rate it, the JVC does outperform it slightly. And also, I would have to give it to the JVC just because of the amount of custom installation features that the Sony does not have. But these are two really great projectors at a really great price. We're fortunate to have this type of technology in 2019. So I think this is a good, a good place to call it for the demo. I'm thinking maybe we do one other thing. So this is a Blu-ray. I also want to show you guys a Apple TV to show you the difference in sources. Both of them are hooked up right now. I have them on HDMI 1, and then I have the Blu-rays on HDMI 2 of each device. So I'm gonna switch over to HDMI input number two now. All right, this isn't a bad one to show you. This is just a 4K aerial screensaver from Apple. And right now the Sony is broadcasting. And I'm gonna switch over to the JVC. Apple has their own way of outputting their HDR that is a little different than the Blu-rays. You can see that the JVC is coming in a lot brighter whereas the Sony is a lot darker on this particular screensaver. So I'm gonna go over to the Sony. You can see definitely a much darker image. A lot of that can be calibrated out depending on content, but the crispness of the picture is really you know, what I'm looking at because contrast can be adjusted in calibration, adjusting your brightness and things like that. This is the JVC. You can see in this situation, it does appear to be just brighter. Go over to the Sony. This is just almost too dark. You can't see quite as much. So this is where the, the different memory presets come into play so that we can you know, adjust this based on content that we're watching. Alright guys, well this concludes the shootout between the Sony 295 and the JVC RS1000. I'm gonna rank them like this. Out of the box, I'm gonna give it to the Sony to be honest with you. And then for custom installation and what the picture that I was able to achieve through calibration, I'm gonna have to give it to the JVC. So these are two really great projectors. There's there's really, you're not going wrong either direction. I'll have to say they're, they're two really good manufacturers that make a great product. If you guys would like to purchase this product and you live in the Dallas area or anywhere in the US, give me a call. In Dallas, I can install it for you. If you live anywhere else, we can ship it to you for free with a low price guarantee. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and subscribe down below for more. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater.